Let's go. Come on, Vominos. Oh, there's a fellow up there. I assume there? a... Uh... I I Wait, how do we get yeah. up there? Where'd you come from? Where is that? There's two, two of them. No, that's the same one. Oh, the world. Where do we... How do we get up there? I don't know. What is this thing telling us? Heart of the Dead return to Captain Veleth. I, I, I don't know why it's telling me to go there, but whatever. I guess we could snipe this guy down. Oh, is he fighting? He's fighting something over there. Can't really tell, but that, that, that ash spawn is fighting something over there. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we could go inside and go all the upstairs bit and try and find our way out of there, maybe? I don't know. I guess that's how we do it, maybe? Fort Frost Moth? Let's go inside and see if we can go to the upstairs bit and fight this fellow. Yeah, there, there is. No one in the world. Oh, yeah, 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 this. I forgot about this. Let's go up the soul theme. Who's there? He's like right here, isn't he? Right there. Um, okay. Were you the one fighting him? I think so. How does Ron get over there then? Oh, wait, there's another one right there. Okay, let's, let's see how much damage we can do to these fellows. Okay, we didn't do the. That didn't. 50% thing didn't happen right there. Didn't happen right there, I think. Oh, wait, I think it did. Yeah. I just saw some electricity right there. And he died in three hits and he ran away and stuff too. Wow. Gold ore. Spawn ash and stuff too. Nice. Good damage. A little bit of chest uh, with some gold. Not bad. Anyways, is there another chest over here? Nah, there's not another chest over here. Okay, whatever. Um. We need to go back to that captain fellow. I don't know where he is. Uh, I think he's at Raven Rock, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. Or like just outside of Raven Rock. Let's, let's go over here. Let's go report back to him. And be like, hey, the cow. Uh, yeah, I forgot if that guy was a captain or whatever. But he's dead now. Took forever. Took like two or three alternate universes. But whatever. He's dead now. He does. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, he's in the I assume guard barracks area. The bulwark. Yeah. Whatever. Careful with those flames. Yeah, and electricity and the frost come from the war axe or war hammer. Uh, Asham and all that stuff. Yeah, let me let me go find the uh, the fellow. Another, Another mouth to feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Ooh, I can pickpocket him. Boom, boom, hater. <laughs> uh, who sleeps with a bottle of wine in their pockets? <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, ooh, cooked beef. Mm, beef. Wooden plate. Don't eat that garbage. East Empire Company strong box. I wonder if this has an East Empire Company uh, pendant inside of it or necklace or whatever. <laughs> uh, it probably does. To be quite honest. Seems like everything is like East Empire Company this, East Empire Company that. Big fans of the East Empire Company. There you go, finally got it. Jeez. Di whoa, whoa, a diamond ruby. Oh, yep, of course there is. <laughs> East Empire Pendant. Flynn. Uh, the Axe Man. Inkwell. Alto Wine. Tankard. Shujama. Bone Motorama. I could tell Serana to steal that, but I'm pretty sure she's going to be like, yeah, I can't do everything what for you. It? I'm not going to do that. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. Jeez. I'll just put it inside of a chest and you take it out of the chest. Okay, it's not technically you stealing it. Jeez. Anyways, let's wake up Captain Veleth. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? The, the fellow's dead. Yeah, I killed General Car Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius's exploits. Including the founding of Raven Rock. Huh. You'll no longer send Ash Spawn to Raven Rock. Yeah, because he's dead now. He kind of. Look at this. Look at this Warhammer. This was his, and he's dead now, Hater. Counselor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Money. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Oh my god, 5k. You kidding me? Five grand for that. That's actually really good. He compensated me very handsomely. Wow. I wonder if we would have gotten paid anyways if we said, hey, if we didn't even bring up the money when we first encountered this guy. Anyways, did you need something from me? Ah, we could get a mission from him. Let's see. I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. It, you didn't find me? I came to you, but whatever. <laughs> did he say what it was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the second counselor as soon as possible. Alright, I guess I have to go- Oh my gosh, Ron just appeared out of nowhere. Alright, well, let's go talk to the second counselor fellow, and- Oh my god, there's so much stuff over here. Can I take this stuff? Oh, he's coming over here, though. Ugh, I can just sleep on the- No, I can't do it because it's zoned. Okay, pass by. Can you pass by? There's a lot of, like, illegal substances right there. I'd love to ash you right there as well. Wow, look at that ash you And that guy's over there making some sort of stew or something. Boom, boom. The house of troubles. Man, there's so much stuff over here. Jeez, I just took it all too. What if this is going to tell me anything? Nah, it's not going to tell me anything. Okay, whatever. Oh, weapons rack. 
Elven sword, blah, 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 blah. Don't need that dryer. Hey, how you doing? We've got our eyes on you. Yeah, not very well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I just stole all your stuff, Ada. Carrots, there you go, more carrots. Salt piles. There you go. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Because you don't even know. You don't even know I took your stuff. Careful with those flames. Careful with those but flames. You plan on torching something. Yeah, torturing my enemies. Hey, there's a fellow. Anyways, we need to go find, um... Let me, I guess we can just select the mission right now. Surf cold. Okay, whatever. Where's this at? Adrillerano. Oh, he's actually rather close by. I did want to go to. Oh, was he the. Where is he? It, he might be like walking on a path or whatever. But I want to go over here to the grindstone and check out how, how we can improve these. What do we need to improve them? How much we can improve them? And stuff like that. Uh, what was it called? Wait, is it even here? We can't improve it, can we? That Warhammer? This thing, we can't improve anymore. Yeah, I can't improve that. The Warhammer isn't here. Hold the phone. So can we not improve that Warhammer? I think we can't, can we? What's it called? Champion's Kugel. Man, that's crazy. I don't think we can. 49 damage. Man, we're almost over encumbered too. Look at that, 459, 497. I don't think we can... I guess I could go look it up and find out, like... Some information about this this champion's cute or cudgel. I call it like cugel or something, whatever. <laughs> cudgel. I, I guess you can't improve it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can improve items you're holding, but champion's cudgel isn't showing up. <laughs> hey, strange stuff. Good thing going here. Is now this him? Reopen the mines. Don't let it go. No, that's, that's that guy. Oh, there's this fellow over here. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. What do you want? He's in danger of being killed. How? <laughs> kind of annoyed. He's in danger of being killed. How? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Whoops. <laughs> Why would the Ulins want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvain himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Your concern seems justified. You sound paranoid. He ordered the execution. It's on his head, not yours. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Which, I don't know which one would be better or more middle of the road or whatever. You sound here. I guess we could do that. I don't really want to take his side uh, immediately or take the other. I guess this one's a little bit middle of the road right here. You sound paranoid. As second counselor, it's my responsibility to explore the possibility of any threat, no matter how paranoid it might seem. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. Mm, you feel an attack on the counselor is imminent. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Hmm. Why haven't you acted on the information then, huh? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu. I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. How can I help? What will you do? Well, good luck with that. Yeah, he probably wants me to do it because they're like monitoring him and whatnot, but they don't know about me, I guess. How can I help? Oh, oh, push him out of the way. Whatever, Saran. Jeez. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. How can I help? Whatever. Give me money. I'm only in it for the money. <laughs> how can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Where do I begin? Yeah, let me get a little bit closer to him so I don't mess I up the audio. The I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Hmm, sounds good. Will you tell me about House Hlalu? Uh, what are the things now that the mines are open again? How are things? Uh, you mentioned your sources. Eh, let's ask about House Halalu. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire 
may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunma people's suffering. What happened to House Lalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. Hmm. You mentioned your sources, one of the Dunmer Hayes of Empire. Uh, uh I, I, I don't really want to say this one. Let's do the sources one. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunmer settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Why don't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Well, if communication takes so long, why don't you just, like, you know, message them on MySpace and whatnot? <laughs> why do the Dunmer hate the Empire? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. Hmm. How did the Dunbar survive this at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Hmm. Alright, well, there you go. We have a little bit more information now. Okay, well, I kind of want to... Don't worry. Oh, what in the world? Why does it always happen? Every time we're, like, right next to people, they just start talking and then, like, back away as if we're about to slit their throats. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I kind of want to do this mission a little bit later. Uh, I kind of want to do a little bit of a uh, research on the champion's cudgel or whatever. I feel like this might be like a really rare item or something like that. Like, I definitely don't want to like sell it. I don't even know if I even can sell it. Maybe I can't. Uh, maybe it's like one of those quest items that are seemingly not connected to a quest, but are technically called quest items, so you don't, you know, sell them and whatnot. But I kind of oh, here's the place we need to go to right now. Okay. Um, anyways, like I said, I think I might like end the episode right here, and we could continue this on a little bit later, but... Uh, hold on, yeah, we'll see Bedlam Tri- See how far Golden Goods from Raven Rock? I still- I need to go look that up. Because I'm pretty sure I've stolen way more than 500 goods worth of stuff from Raven Rock so far. Like, really? Like, no joke. Uh, anyways, yeah, let me- let me go back to Skyrim. Let's go back to Skyrim. Not to Skyrim. Uh, I think it's just going to take us, like, the winter hold, like, right outside of the- at the docks or whatever, but kind of want to go back, you know, drop off some loot and whatnot. Maybe work on a couple upgrades here and there. But I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying our little transition into two-handed weapons. Maybe a little bit later we'll transition to heavy armor and whatnot too. Who knows? I'm like, we're only level 44. We're, I forgot what the is is the level cap 90 or something like that. But we're only like maybe halfway to the level cap, so we we've got a lot of room to grow over here, honestly. So, anyways. Like I said, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on your YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. But until then... Papa, you're home. Could you give me an allowance? Yeah, sure. I'll give you like 10 million, okay? But sure, whatever you want, a thousand gold. Let's just give her 25. Let's give her 10. Thanks, Pa. Yeah, look at that, she's great for hack, and I do have, I think, oh, a doll. I saw Thalmor. Wow. Yep, I've got Charles doll. I can give her a little dagger. Jeez. Let's not give her that. Let's give her that and a green apple. There you go. Not gonna give her Thanks. anything else. Jeez. There you go. Yeah, give me some money, Lydia. Yes, my love. Have you store made any money? Mean? Give me some money. We have a cozy little profit. Here. This is your share, love. That's right. We have a profit. Twenty-seven hundred. God. I'm not complaining one bit. Anyways, how are the kids? Yeah. Might as well act like we care, right? <laughs> Very well, love. 
This is a beautiful house, and solitude is so safe, so diverse. It's a wonderful place to raise a child. Or two of them. <laughs> but I'm pretty much just forgetting about them, literally forgetting their names and stuff every now and then. It's crazy. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode right now. So like I said, I already did the outro and stuff. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Skyrim Remastered. Oh, bye there. What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Skyrim Remastered. Now, last time we left off, we were doing some stuff, we were mainly in Raven Rock, kind of memeing around and whatnot, I did say I wanted to kind of drop off some of my stuff back at home. I'm over here at the, uh, in, in, in Rift, and I just, you know, sold a bunch of stuff to the Thieves Guild and whatnot, I also got a hold of the book about the Shadow Marks that tell us, hey, this symbol, you know, means this and that. Uh, and remember, uh, Glover Mallory over in Raven Rock had this symbol next to his door saying that he's, you know, affiliated with a guild and whatnot, but there's also different other symbols that, uh, uh, that I knew about, but didn't really know what they meant. I've seen them before and whatnot. So this triangle with the circle inside of it apparently means safe. You guys can read the little description right there. This one means danger. I guess that's a triangle kind of pointing towards the door. It says there's danger ahead or something like that. Escape route right there. Kind of looks like an ice cream cone or something like that. Uh, this one protected. Apparently, we're not supposed to like mess with people here because they're protected by the Thieves Guild or something like that. And they should never be robbed or assaulted, it says. Uh, fence. This one apparently means that uh, there's a merchant that will buy stolen stuff. So that's pretty cool. I definitely need to watch out for that so I don't have to keep, you know, coming back to Rift and whatnot, selling stolen stuff here. And... You know, so we can sell more stolen stuff than the about thousand dollars worth of uh, gold that the person here in Riften or at the Thieves Guild is able to, you know, buy and whatnot. Because I could only sell about a thousand gold worth of stolen stuff at a time before their inventories uh, reset and whatnot. And they have more gold to buy more stolen stuff and whatnot. But either way, I think there's one more uh, Thieves Cash. Actually, there's like one more after this. Thieves Cash means there's, I guess, stolen stuff from other Thieves Guild members that I could just kind of pick up if I want. And this one, okay, that's a loot one, meaning there's a loot inside of there. Uh, and this next one is empty, meaning there's no loot inside of there. Kind of like the loot one, but there's no like lines inside of that square uh, with the square and the circle and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. I, it's finally, I, that's, that's been inside of the Thieves Guild area for a while. I just now saw it, but uh, now we have a little bit more of an understanding of, you know, what different symbols and stuff mean. Also, while I was here in Riften, I got a, uh, the courier came by. We were kind of waiting for that one guy, you guys remember? The guy, the Rallus Sedaris, uh, the guy that's like kind of excavating the area over in Raven Rock, uh, or I guess Soul Seam. Not technically Raven Rock, right? But he sent me a letter, I guess, I guess they're done or something. So let's see. I hope this message finds you quickly, meow. We've completed the initial excavation and have run into some une ooh, unexpected difficulties. Come as soon as you can. Ooh. Okay, well, hopefully he isn't turning his back on me. And let's just go, I guess we just go right back to Soul Seam right there. Using that little symbol. So let's go back over here. Too bad we can't just like fast travel like straight to where we want to. We have to travel to Soul Seam and then fast travel to wherever. But uh, I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. And it's nighttime over here. So that's kind of unfortunate. Anyways, let's go to the Coles blah, 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 Burrow or Barrow or whatever. See what this guy has to say. Oh, yeah, they have a camp set up over here. Let's see what he has to say. Hopefully he's not going to turn his back on me. Oh, it's you. Yep. What's going on? This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead, and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Yeah, now they're dead. Ugh, guess we can just loot their dead bodies and get our money back, right? <laughs> what now? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I can always kill these Draugr, especially, you know, because we can get our uh, two-handed up. Uh, let's see, clear the blah blah blah, and find a way deeper into the barrow. Okay, let's, let's do that. Well, this is going to be a pretty good opportunity. Oh, what in the world is that? I just took a- oh, this is full of trash. I did, uh, empty my inventory- actually, I didn't empty my inventory completely. I still have a little bit of stuff here in the other chest, or other category. There we go, a pot. I'll get rid of that before I get arrested for possessing pot. Uh, Azure Dolls Dece I think we already have that book, don't we? There's a bunch of, like, goblets and stuff over there. Oh yeah, look at that. They definitely excavated this area out, like, completely until they found the entrance. Let's go inside there now. 
Let's see what's inside of this, uh, this crypt full of Draugr. What do I have right now? Oh yeah, I did a little bit of research on this, this champion's cudgel or whatever it's called. Apparently it cannot be upgraded. And that's kind of unfortunate, but it is a pretty good Warhammer. I'm going to continue using it. And I also have the blessing of someone that gives us, I think, better magicka right now, by the way. Oh, Draugr White. These guys should be decently hard with the two-handed, I think, right? And there we go, we got him. Well, we have Serana by our side helping us out. And we could, keep forgetting about this, could spawn in a Conjuration fellow. Let's get ourselves a little Wrath Man, or uh, Mist Man. I think Wrath Man is like one step below, but uh, Blood Skull Blade. Yeah, I didn't even favor the Champion's Cudgel. Uh, whoops, I just, <laughs> I just favored it right there, but I didn't equip it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have some critters over here. There's a dead miner, and dead miner over here. And we've got a Draugr Death Lord. Let's try and get this guy nice and dead. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. He's blocking over here. We need to watch out. There's more Draugr back there. Let's try and get ourselves a Fus Roda. Because he's going to Fus Roda on us too. So we need to watch out and make sure we do it before he does it. Do end it up to 36 though. I'm kind of waiting for uh, level uh, two handed to be, I think, 40. So I could do another like 20% damage increase or something like that. So anyways, let's, let's keep watching out. Okay, it looks like... Uh, Man, there's a lot of Draugrs over here. Draugr white, whites and whatnot. But, uh, thankfully, we're not, like, dying over here. Looks like the, uh, the Death Lord is there. There you go. Death Lord is almost dead. There we go. Draugr white. Get a little bit of that supple ancient Nord bow. Ebony shield, Ebony war axe. That's pretty good stuff over there. Not bad. Uh, we already have some, I think, Ebony war axes back, at, back home and whatnot. So no real need to use that as our next weapon of choice. Uh, especially because we're trying to do two-handed weapons and whatnot. There's my mismatch right there. Okay, we have another Restless Draugr. Let's see if we can... Oh, 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 oh! Power animation or whatever. There you go. And stealing it. I'll take that. Not bad. Completely. Can really? That's it? That's all the Draugr? I thought we'd be, like, traveling, like... Oh, man. Whoa. Three soul gems right there. I don't think anyone uh, had any actual soul inside of them. I should probably use my dagger that has uh, my soul snagging dagger and try and get some more, uh... Wait, where are we going right here? It says we could find a path that goes deeper. Oh, here we go. Is this it right here? Is this a false door? False doorway? I don't know. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Use the... Oh, wait, hold on. Is that skull on a pressure plate? It is! Yes, yes, yes! Look at that! Man, I was... I, was, I knew something was going on with that. Glad that I figured that out. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm not bragging either. Anyways, I knew that was a false uh, false wall or whatever. And it was to continue on. What is this? Boots? Oh, oh Azure Doll's wow. boots of water this walking. Gorgeous. On what looks like yeah, another pressure plate? Me. Oh, thanks. What are you hitting on me? You know I'm a married man. Is that a pressure plate? I didn't do I was anything. always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this it? Oh, I guess I return to the fellow. There's not more, much more. I guess I could hire more miners to excavate this area, but uh, right now... What are, what are the what are these boots? The water walking? I could walk on water like Jesus or something like that. Let's go to apparel. What was it called again? The something of water walking. Here it is right here. Azure Doll's boots of water walking. Water walking if you uh, if you wear any four relics of Azure Doll plus ten enchanting. Ooh! Okay, so this is heavy armor though. Then I assume we just walk on water over here casually. So that's casual. And nine pounds in our inventory though. It is heavy armor, so we will lose our perk of wearing all light armor. Oh, there's a chest over here. I almost missed that. I should probably get my uh, my candlelight out so I can actually see a little bit better. There we go. Didn't uh, break a lockpick on that. That's pretty good. Grand soul gem inside of an adept lock. Not bad. Uh, steel battle axe. No real need for that. Speaking of uh, candlelight and whatnot, let's get our candlelight out right now. Boom! Let's see if we can find any more chests or anything like that. Seems like that's all that we have over here. I feel like we're going to find even more, but uh, maybe we're going to hire more excavators, more miners or something like that, and they're going to help us dig past that initial bit over there. Or maybe I'm missing something again. Oh! Well, that guy just collapsed and died. Well, I guess he was already dead, brought back to life, and then died again. <laughs> I feel like there's got to be something else here, but yeah, it's pretty much caved in everywhere. Can't go it. Yeah, nothing back here. Nothing back over here either. It's definitely caved in. I think we have to return to the guy anyways, right? Uh, yep, speak to Rallis. Okay. Let's go talk to him. I guess we're going to be like, yeah, we found a way that goes deeper, but it's still caved in as heck. Past the... Oh, there's another dead mine right there. Nord Bean and whatnot. Might as well take advantage of his dead body. Anyways, let's just go return back to that fellow. And we'll be good to go. Oh, already looted that, I guess. I guess my lootometer already got that before I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, let's return out to Soul Seam. And return back to Rallis 
whatever his name was that kind of rhymes with Rouse. <laughs> Let's go back to him and see what he has to say about all this. We did kill him all, and he's going to be like, oh, you survived. Any luck? Yeah, I dealt with the Draugr and found a way past the dead end. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. Now, I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need, say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. Yeah, that's nothing. I got that, like, from selling a bunch of stolen stuff to the Thieves Guild just now. So anyways, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. 2,000. How much do we even have? I'll, I'll just add 2,000 to whatever I have here in a sec. I never get tired of that sound. Me neither. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. Sounds good. Hopefully we can get a full set of that uh, Agidol's armor. We just got the boots that we can, I assume, walk on water wearing uh, when we're wearing it. So that's kind of cool. Um, I should probably give a straw on that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah, look at that. We had 59,000 gold. We have 57,000 now. Yeah, 2,000 gold is nothing. I could do that. No problemo. What is that? A book of... Uh... Man, he's got... Tw that's volume 20. I don't know how many of those we have. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what else do we have around? Oh, there's a ship icon this way. Is that the ship that we saw? Oh no, that's a... That's an intact ship. Wait, hold on. That must be new. I don't think I saw that earlier. Oh, 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 there's a ash hopper. Oh, I'm killing it with a pickaxe. Oh, oh, oh! Does anyone actually use pickaxes? Oh, whoa, my quiver just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> but does anyone actually use pickaxes as, like, a main one-handed weapon? I assume they'd be... Decent at first, I guess, right? Now, this is new. I'm pretty sure I... Hold on, where are we on the map? Um, that's... Yeah, we, we saw a sunken ship over here next to the Fort Frostmoth. But this, yeah, I guess I've never seen this over here. Okay, let's get our uh, champion's cudgel out. I'm really liking this, by the way. Even though it doesn't do as much damage as, uh, I think the Blood Skull Blade or whatever it's called, it, it's still pretty good, and it does do that extra damage. One. Let's sheath our weapons. Oh, God. Okay, they're attacking us. Reaver, okay, these are outlaws over here. Okay, let's get our fire breath out. Then we could do some, uh, some damage to them and whatnot. And boom! Reaver outlaw, Reaver highwayman. Let's try and get some loot. Try and get some... Oh, whoa, that guy died in one hit. What a piece of trash. There we go. Bone mold armor and whatnot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reaver lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. We need to watch the heck out over here. We're dying. Let's get some, uh, get some cheese. Try and heal up. Get some uh, Norm and wine and all that kind of stuff. Get our uh, stamina up and whatnot. I did make more potions, uh, but I did put up a pretty decent amount of them, so I need to watch the heck out. Health has increased my 40 points for 60. That's pretty good. Deadly poison. I think that's going to help out tremendously with this fellow. He might be, he might resist it or whatever. Reaver Lord. Wow, that definitely helped out right there. You see his health just drop like a rock right there? And now he's dead. Oh. Conjure and a Mistman, Conjure and a Mistman. Especially because I have a uh, ability that gives me, oh, Conjuration up to 25, perfect. That's definitely what we want, so we can get some more Conjuration. I definitely need to remember that. Let's get the Blood Skull laid out so we can do some like ranged kind of memes. Nordic Carved Armor, let's get that. Uh, Orcish War Axe of Torbor. What are we playing, Orcish War of the Balls? I don't know, but, uh, oh, that missed. Yeah, uh, we definitely need to kind of me around with this a little bit more, try and get a little bit better with the little ability, the little like little red line of like, death that kind of shoots out and whatnot definitely need to kind of keep using this uh we have a heart stone thing right there we could worry about that a little bit later i don't know did our mistman go up here oh Serana just brought back that fellow Ooh, there's another oh wait is that serana that is serana i was wondering like it's not showing her on the mini map oh and the reef marauder just got hit and another hit right there another hit oh 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 my god oh just keep on getting those shoulders down oh jeez Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's keep on getting that uh, armor and whatnot, uh, kind of armor and whatnot. That's pretty good. All right, it gives us a little bit of money. We can always tell Serana to carry it and whatnot. I assume there's a lower deck. Ooh, a little bit of gold. That's what I like to see. A little bit of apples. Uh, meh. At least it's a little bit of food and whatnot. Uh, the night, wait, Night Mother's Truth. Uh, that's kind of weird. A glass maze right there, not bad. It's always a decent uh, apple cabbage stew. Uh, not bad. All right, there's my Mistman. Hopefully we'll still be able to use him here in a bit. Uh, adapt lock over here on this chest. Let's, oh, 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 that was embarrassing. Let's try, let's see, left side or right side? Yep, definitely feels like it's right side. And let's go a little bit more like, uh, man, this adept, man. The thing about adept is that the window's so big, it's, it's hard to tell if I need to go more to the left or more to the right and whatnot. I'm not just making excuses. <laughs> there we go, we got that lock. Uh, oh, a little bit of gold, a little bit of ruby. And by a little bit, I need 70 gold and one ruby. <laughs> Anyways. 
Wait, what are these people talking about? Is that is that Serana's dead dead person? Re resurrected dead person saying that? Or I don't know if it's another live person down here. This ship is kind of like half sunk and whatnot. Is it half sunk or half floating? Who knows? Oh, dead body inside there. Rest in peace. Another pile of literal bag of bones over here. <laughs> Let's get some gold off these pieces of the trash. That seems like that's it for this lower deck area. Yeah, that definitely seems like Sharon's person being resurrected. That's saying that, yeah. Let's keep going around the deck. Or the upper deck. The poop deck, I guess is what you'd call it. See if there's any more people, maybe more loot caches and whatnot. Caches. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here, so that's kind of that's hey, cool. Watch hey, watch it. That's not that bad. We got a little bit of loot right there. Let's get our pickaxe out, get some more of this heartstone. Definitely needed to drop this off back at home. Uh, speaking of home, I wonder if we can actually buy a house here at Raven Rock. I'm like, that, that'd be kind of cool. We could just drop our stuff off over there. It'd be kind of a... We don't have to go all the way out to Skyrim just to kind of, you know, drop off our stuff and get a little bit of a carry weight on us and whatnot. That, that'd be nice. But, meh. As far as I know, I don't think you could buy it. Maybe I can kind of upload a woe. Let's see. Ken Champion's cudgel. There, yes. What I want to do. You can touch, like, the... Whoever the Jarl of Rain Rock. If they even have Jarl, they might have something different over here in, like, the Morrowind territory, if you will. I know it's not technically Morrowind, but, you know, we're in... We're in area that's not even outside of, uh, that's outside of Skyrim, so I don't know what the people here have in terms of leaders. I think it's a different name. It's not Jarl, I think. Anyways, is this, yeah, this is the house that like, kind of burnt down. We already explored this, yeah. We get this, uh, trauma room and whatnot. And, oh, there's more of the, I wonder if we can get more of those, like, flying critters over here we can kill. Maybe we'll be able to kill them with our two hand, and I'm not bragging when I tell you that. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just I, I guess maybe get on, uh, what do you call him? A horse fellow. Try and head to the, uh, Temple of the Moronic or whatever. Try and head over there finally after all of these years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can, uh, yeah, we, we, we have a two-handed weapon right now. We can get that on. Yeah, look at that. Casually, uh, holding a two-handed weapon on a horse. I did not think we were able to do that before, but I guess we can. What is this guy doing? A Khaj random Khajiit over here. Wait, am I not able to hit him from the horse? There we go. We got a hit right there. Getting more hits. Just keep sweeping at him. This guy actually has some pretty good stuff on him. Man, there goes, there goes, oh my god, there goes Arvac. I'm just kind of wallowing on the floor right now. I need to, come on, you're dying. <laughs> Kill the Khajiit, what is he doing? There we go, get some good old flame. This guy has a, what is that? Is that a war axe? Or, uh, what do you call it? Oh my god, headbutt on this guy, jeez. Uh, battle axe? I think that's a glass battle axe right there. It's hard to say, hard to tell. I'm not too, uh, familiar with, uh, ebony, oh wow, ebony armor. Orcish boots, that's pretty good. Steel, Nordic, gauntlets, ebony sword. Oh, yep, glass war axe. Oh, wait, that's a war axe? What? That looked like a uh, bigger. That looked like it might have been a battle axe. Where is that? Here it is. Glass war axe? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I guess the handle's a lot, lot shorter than I thought. There's a glass mace right there. I need to give this stuff to Serana. I don't know where she is. She's like on the other side of the map, probably. But man, that guy killed that. Oh, there's Serana right there. Hey, I have some glass stuff that'll. Match your uh, glass stuff right there. Anything good? I know that totally made sense, right? I did uh, upgrade my. Oh my! That happens all the time. All right, let's see what you have. I did upgrade my smithing, so now I can make um, glass armor and improve it twice as much. So Serana stuff you can see is now legendary. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, um, oh yeah, I'm I'm wearing the. I think I'm wearing the water water walking boots. I think right now. So let's go over here. We're basically like, right next to the water, anyways. Let's go test it out. We have some scathros or whatever over here. Let's get some of these harvested. Get a little bit of those, because I'm pretty sure they do not grow in Skyrim. I, uh, maybe they do, and I just haven't really noticed it, but uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen them out in the open in Skyrim. But over here is where we saw the uh, the sunken boat that I was, I was kind of confused. Like, did a boat just, like, dock where that sunken boat was? I don't know. Let's get some more of these things while we're out here. I, I'm, I'm definitely getting over encumbered over time. With, oh, there's more of those critters. Let's see if we can walk on water. Oh, my God, you guys. I am Jesus. Look at this. Jesus in Skyrim. Oh my god, I, I can fight these things in water now. And I'm not bragging. <laughs>